Welcome to this Sandophon Crystalline Light Transmission. Clearing and revitalizing your etheric body and breathing and opening and softening, relaxing. And with your breath, feeling your connection to the universe around you, universe around you. On the in-breath, inviting in the light of the stars into every cell of the body. On the out-breath, releasing any lower energies you're carrying in the cellular system, the cells of the body. Purging it back to the stars. Allowing more of your own soul light into the cells of the body. And with your breath, inviting the light of the stars, the sun, the earth into the bones of your body. All joints, all vertebrae, from top of skull down to the ends of toes and fingers. Purging and releasing any energies from the mutant matrix, the 3D matrix, out of your system. Any lower energies of fear, anger, anxiety, shame, guilt. Purging from your system on the out-breath. And on the in-breath, feeling your connection to the universe around you through the web of life. into the blood of your body and on the out breath purging anything in the blood or blood producing parts that need to be released back to the universe allowing more of your own soul's light into the body and just following that cycle of breath And feeling with your in-breath the tide of light from the stars and the sun and the earth. A gentle wave or tide coming into the body. And on the out-breath allowing that tide to recede, taking with it anything of a lower nature. Leaving more of your own soul's light in the body. And I call now your team in spirit of the highest light and resonance. Higher self, I am presence, your oversoul. All archangels and angels. All guides. All star races and councils. Galactic Council, all Elohim, come be with you. And feel the connection of light in your field. And let's call to the horizontal plane, those archangels holding your energy in the horizontal plane. In the east, Raphael. Magician, healer, invoking that symbol, the caduceus, that crystal wand with those two golden serpents, and where they meet near the top, the two golden wings. Focus on that symbol and call to you, emerald green fire. Holding the space. Allow that fire into the mental body. And as that is happening, that's called to Michael of the South, warrior, protector, guardian, angel. The symbol is the sword of light. And as you focus on the symbol, you invoke electric blue fire into the space to hold your space, to create sacred space.
two archangels, two energies, and breathe and open. The third archangel is Gabriel, archangel of the west, of water, of emotions, messenger angel. The symbol is the silver chalice. As you focus on the silver chalice, you invoke the energy of diamond white fire to hold the space. Three archangels, three energies and breathe. And the fourth angel, Uriel of the North, of earth, of structure, of power and light. The symbol is a golden pentacle, a five-pointed star in a circle of light. As you focus on the symbol, you invite the energy of the angel, which is ruby red fire, into your space. Four archangels, four energies, holding the horizontal plane. And breathe and expand your light, breathe and expand your light. And open, open to be held in this light, to be held in this light. And let's call the two archangels of the vertical force, which is Metatron and Sandophon. Metatron bring down that golden white grid from the great central sun into the space, into the room, closing all openings. Sealing all openings to any lower level, lower dimension. and bring that energy into your field all the way down to your heart and anchor it into your heart and that's called a sandal font of the crystalline diamond white grid to bring up that energy into the space through your feet and torso up into the heart anchoring into the heart six archangels, six energies, and feel the space held. Feel the space held, containing your energy, protecting your energy. And breathing and opening. And I call and invoke into your energy field a portal of light, a gateway of light. And that gateway may appear as a mirror of shimmering light, a mirror, a great mirror, as tall as you. Somewhere in your energy field, go find that gateway, that portal. Go find that portal. Stand in front of that portal. On the other side, another dimensional landscape. When you're ready, step through the portal Step through the portal 
and find yourself in another landscape and open your inner senses. Your sense of seeing color, shape and form. Hearing sound and silence. Feeling, touching, intuiting, knowing. Tasting, smelling. And allow the landscape to arise up around you. Whether that landscape be green or rocky or icy or some otherworldly landscape. Allow it to arise up around you, feeling your feet on the ground. And somewhere in this landscape, a path. Somewhere a path. Enter the landscape, take a step, enter the landscape. And find the path, find the path. Follow the path and this path will eventually begin to ascend as if going up a hill, a gentle hill. So follow that path up the hill and when you reach the crest, notice the hill descends downwards. And in that landscape is a structure, a tower of stone, a tall tower of stone. Begin to descend towards that tower. That tower may look any way it wishes. It represents your own chakra system along the spine from the earth upwards. Go approach that tower. Find the entrance and enter the tower. And within the tower, you will notice a spiral staircase. This staircase represents your inner channel along the spine. Before we go up, we're going to go down. Down into the Earth Star Chakra. Follow the spiral staircase down. Descending deep into the Earth. Descending into your earth star chamber, which may appear large or perhaps rocky. There might be a ethereal light here. Allow the light to grow. And somewhere in this chamber, find a pool of crystalline diamond white energy that may look like water. Go find that pool. Stand beside the pool. And feel the energy of the earth. Feel the energy of the earth. And I call into this chamber. Archangel Sandophon and all angels working with that angel to hold the space and I summon the earth energy 
allowing this pull to perhaps swell. Perhaps this energy begins to move and expand into the chamber. Perhaps the energy fills the whole chamber with a great fairy light. Perhaps the energy rises and begins to swirl around in great spiraling movements. Feel your connection to the earth energy, the crystalline earth energy, as held by Sandalfon and all angels and divas working with Sandalfon. This energy is a liberating force of change. It has great gentleness and power. Watch as the crystalline energy begins to expand and cleanse the chamber. Releasing any bloodline energies that may need to be cleared here. Any bloodline energies that may need to be cleared. Any ancestral energies any ancestral patterns you're holding in this chakra. Allowing this energy to dissolve all shadows, to consume all shadows, to remove all shadows clearing all junk, all gunk from the space. Allowing more light in, removing all energies that do not belong to you. If there are any hidden doorways in this chamber, let's call them now. And if there are any, allow the energy of the earth, the crystalline grid, to begin to explore and clear or seal as necessary. Closing any doorways, perhaps they need to be explored and cleared and then closed. If there are any seals preventing the chakra to be upgraded to 5D, allow this energy to find them and pierce them and dissolve them as necessary. Feel this light around you. You don't need to direct it, it has its own intelligence. And the energy begins to send this healing light through all connected meridians, all organs, all systems, connected with the chakra. Just noticing the energy shift and allowing the intelligence of the grid to do its work as directed by Sandalfon. And just allow this process to complete itself. And at a certain point, the crystalline energy may choose to rise up along the spiral staircase. Rising up to the base chakra. And there can be karmic knots held along the spine. Allow the intelligence of this energy to begin to clear any debris in the channel. expanding the channel, cleansing the channel. Just follow the light as it flows up the spiral staircase.
until you find a door of the chamber of your base chakra. Open the door and allow this light to flow in. This is your most earthly chamber. The energy here connects you with your body and assists you in being fully embodied on the earth plane. You need this chakra to be open. You need to be here, all of your light embodied. Allow the energy to enter the chamber and expand. And once again, Sandophon begins the process of clearing all lower energies from the 3D matrix, dissolving all shadows, all gunk, all junk. Removing any lower energies that do not belong to you. Just watch this process. Allow the energy to be cleared, all shadows to be dissolved, all junk, all gunk cleared and removed, expanding the light here. Cleansing, clearing any energy that doesn't belong to you from other people. Invoking any hidden doorways. If there are any hidden doorways, allow the energy to explore and clear or seal as necessary. If there are any seals in the base chakra preventing this chakra to be upgraded to a 5D version, allow the earth grid to find and pierce and dissolve as necessary. Sealing the walls, allowing them to sparkle with a fairy light, expanding the light here. Sending this healing light through all connected meridians, all organs, all systems. And breathe and allow the process to unfold. Just witness the energy doing its work. And at a certain point, the process may be complete. If it is, allow the energy to move out of the chamber, flowing up the corridor. Again, if there are any karmic knots in the spine, appearing as debris, allow the crystalline grid to dissolve and clear the space, expanding the channel. bringing more light in the channel and come to the room of the sacral chakra, the chamber of the sacral chakra. Open the door. This is the chamber of your emotional, creative and sexual energy. Allow the energy to flow in, expanding and clearing and cleansing any lower energies. Dissolve all shadows, clearing junk, removing anything that needs to be removed. Working with hidden doorways, exploring, clearing or sealing. If there are any seals here preventing this chakra to be upgraded, allow the energy to find and dissolve and clear. A 
allow this energy to seal the walls with a great fairy light, expanding the light that can be held here. Sending this healing energy through all connected meridians or organs or systems. And just allow the work to unfold. Just allow the work to unfold. At a certain point, the process may be complete. If it is, allow the energy to flow out of the chamber and up the spiral staircase. Clearing any debris along the spine, along the spiral staircase. Expanding the light, finding the door of the solar plexus chakra. This is the chamber of your personal power, your will, your courage. Opening the door, allow the energy to flow in. Archangel Sandophon and all beings working with that angel, cleansing the chamber. Clearing the lower energies, dissolving the shadows, clearing the junk. Removing anything that doesn't belong to you. Working with hidden doorways, exploring, clearing or sealing. Finding any seals in the chakra, preventing you from experiencing a 5D chakra and allowing the angel to find and destroy all seals as necessary. Allow the energy to flow and seal the walls as Sandophon invites a fairy light here. Sealing the space, expanding the light you can hold here. Send this healing light through all meridians, all organs, all systems. And just experience and open and breathe without directing, just noticing. At a certain point, the energy may leave the chamber, flowing up the spiral staircase again, clearing any debris along the staircase and finding the room of the heart chakra. This is your chamber of social connection, love and compassion. Open the door and allow Sandophon to begin to flow in and begin to cleanse with crystalline diamond white light this chamber. allowing that light to dissolve all shadows and remove all energies here that do not belong to you, any junk. Allow that energy to flow into any hidden doorways and perhaps clearing or sealing. Finding any seals in the chakra, preventing your heart from being upgraded to 5D. Allow Sandophon to find, pierce and dissolve as necessary. Allow that light to seal the walls, allowing them to sparkle with a fairy light. Expanding the light here. Just witnessing and again, the energy may leave at a certain point. Allow it to leave, follow the energy up the spiral staircase.
clearing any debris along the spiral staircase flowing towards the room of the throat chakra. This is your chamber of self-expression. It's also the chamber that holds your life mission or higher purpose for being here on earth. Open the door. Allow the energy to flow in. Expanding and clearing and removing and dissolving. Exploring and closing anything that needs to be explored and closed. Finding any seals here, preventing your throat from being upgraded to 5D, which is very common. So this is very important to find any seals in this throat chakra so you can fully express your life mission here on the earth plane. Finding anything blocking that and dissolving it and removing it. Allowing the walls to be sealed with a fairy light, expanding the light that can be held here. And Sandophon sends its healing light from this chamber through all connected meridians, all organs or systems. And just notice the difference of how you feel here as this process unfolds and At a certain point, the energy may flow out and follow the energy. As it rises up towards the third eye, clearing any debris in the spiral staircase. Finding the door, opening the door. This is the chamber of your higher vision, your ability to see clearly in your reality all the underlying patterns within and around you. Just allow this angel to begin to work again, expanding and clearing. Cleansing, dissolving, removing. Dealing with any hidden doorways. Finding any seals preventing this chakra to be upgraded and dissolving and clearing them. Sealing the walls with a fairy light. But something different happens in the third eye. Sandophon begins to expand the light with a great intensity. So that this chamber becomes a kind of lighthouse. Allowing light to begin to radiate out beyond the walls of the third eye. Allowing this center to become a lighthouse. Intensifying that light. It's safe now to become a lighthouse. Your light is protected here by the angels. Allow Sandophon to send this healing light through all connected meridians, all organs or systems. At a certain point, the energy may leave the chamber, rising up the spiral staircase, clearing any debris. And finding the room of the crown chamber. This is the chamber of your connection to your higher self, your guardian angels. And open the door, allowing the crystalline grid to flow into the crown chakra. Beginning to cleanse and clear it, but also beginning to meet the energy of the descending force of your higher self and guardian angels. Allowing both to begin to cleanse and clear and dissolve and remove anything. 
both the, the light of your higher self and guardian angels and also the light of the earth in the crown. Clearing any doorways, dissolving, closing, de dealing with any seals, preventing this chakra to be upgraded. Expanding the light here, sealing the chakra with a fairy light. And sending a healing light through all connected meridians, all organs, all systems. Just allow this process to unfold. And when it's complete, come back down to the third eye, bringing your higher self and guides and guardian angels into the third eye, connected and combining with the crystalline grid in this lighthouse. And just stay here in this space for a while the descending force in the third eye and the ascending force in the third eye expanding your light And at a certain point, allow the energy from the earth to begin to withdraw back into the earth star chamber, beginning to flow back. And just adjusting your light and wherever you are in the tower begin to come to the entrance and step out of the building And as you look at the stone tower, it is no longer stone, it's more crystalline and light. A lighthouse radiating light out into your reality. Find the path that leads back to the mirror doorway. Go find that doorway. And when you're ready, step through the doorway, coming back to your body. Coming 
back to your body thanking all guardian angels holding the space the horizontal plane the vertical plane your team and spirit and breathe and open allow your energy to be adjusted by your team so you're not too open just allow whatever rebalancing needs to happen grounding your light into the earth coming back fully into your body being in your body And this transmission is offered to you, as always, with love and blessings, love and blessings. <laughs>